Hey guys, today I have a Kenmore washer and Whirlpool electric dryer. And right now I've got this one set up. Super heavy load going in there. Jeans, towels, jackets, just a little bit of everything. And it's getting started sensing that load. You see the lid's locked now. Um, obviously I can lift the lid up. So I bought an extra one of these pieces here online. That way I can stick it in the lid locking mechanism and we can see what's going on. But when you get this home, plug it in and you're using it, this will be locked and you won't be able to lift it up. So awesome safety feature there. I always explain that just so you know that everything there works perfect. Um, load size, we've got it set to large. So you do get to control the water usage here, which is awesome on these machines that spin super fast. You kind of get the best of both worlds where you can control the water, but it's also going to have that super fast spin which helps extract more water out of the, uh, yeah, more water out of the clothes, cut your drying time in half. You've got some temperature controls. You can pause and read over those, but tons of different options here, just about anything you'd want to get done, all your delicates or heavy duty. And so it's filling up with water right now. I'm gonna cut to it being full and show you that it agitates once we get into the wash cycle. Then I'm gonna show you that as it moves out of the wash cycle, moves into the rinse cycle, it drains all the water out like it's supposed to. And then finally, once it's done rinsing, we'll be on to the final spin. I'm gonna show you that even with the super heavy load, it's got a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. So we'll let it go ahead and uh, finish filling up and we'll come back. All right, and we're back. We've moved into the wash portion of the cycle. You can see full submersion on those clothes there. And the agitator is doing an excellent job getting those clothes vortexed down along the fins and into the bottom. It's one of the super nice things about full submersion of water and an agitator. Your clothes are going to get really clean like they're supposed to. So I'll let the wash portion finish up and we'll come back for the draining. All right, we are moving out of the wash cycle. Just draining that water out. You can hear it. That drain's working nice and fast. Then from here, once the water's all drained out, it'll spin to extract that soapy water out. Then it'll fill up with fresh rinse water. And then after that, we'll be on to the final spin. All right, and we've moved into the final spin cycle. See the machine running nice and fast. Smooth operation, sounds great. And once again, I can lift this up because I bypassed the little lid lock switch. So you can see just how fast it's running and it's great like I said that it spins that fast because it's going to help max extract the water out of those clothes it's going to cut your drying time in half typically that would be a part of the HE designation but this is not an HE dryer or excuse me an HE washer because you can control the water level so I'm going to let that finish up and then we're going to show off the electric dryer next all right, now we have the electric dryer, Whirlpool electric dryer, and I've got it running on time dry, high heat. We've got the temperature set all the way up. You also get a nice um, signal cycle switch, which is great if you have pets or kids sleeping or something like that. You can switch it off, that way it's not gonna be noisy. Lint traps right here, you always wanna change that um, after every load or before each load. And you can see it's running a nice smooth operation. Sounds great, and I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So right in between those two red dots, takes a surface temperature measurement, so it's about 82 degrees on top of the dryer. If I shine it on the concrete floor, you'll see it's a little cooler down there, but 78 degrees. So we'll go ahead and open this up. You see everything was tumbling, the lights come on, and right inside this tube here is the heating element tube, so it's the hottest part of the dryer. Um, of course, the inside of your dryer is only going to heat up from about 95 up to 195. Just depends on what you have your heat setting at. But this part right here, this grate, gets really hot. That's where all the heat pumps out of. And then uh, the air circulates and out right there. The lint trap catches the lint and it goes down and out the back of the dryer. So that's pretty much how all that works. Go ahead and close that back up. Hit start again. And I'll go ahead and let that finish up. I'll get these listed up for sale. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.